So you could run solar and vehicle input through this, put a third party monitor onto this, simply charging another battery that you have. So they have this nice texture, the change of profile, you essentially just like hold down the button. Rightio, so I'm pretty stoked. Package has just shown up from Bluetti. Let's dive in. So the Bluetti products, I've reviewed a lot of Bluetti, blah, blah, blah. blah. So I have reviewed a lot of Bluetti's products here in the past from the E, I think it was the EB150. This is called the EB150. Uh, back in the day, and the new units are just getting better and better. So it's great to see that they're finally gonna have a charge in there for the vehicle. So just opening the box, you do have a connector here, which is gonna connect it, I think, to this unit to uh, your portable power station. So we have that just there, that cable. So you also have your manual just there. You do have some screws, which I'm assuming is for attaching it to your vehicle. So that way you can mount it uh, in a 12 volt sort of setup. Finally, they're listening. We have Anderson connectors. Uh, Bluetti is finally jumping on the bandwagon for the Anderson connectors. So we have a, we have a gray one here and a red one. The gray one is normally vehicle input and the red one is normally solar input as well as all your little uh, connectors there as well. So you do have that. Removing the foam. And here we have the unit itself here in the box. So we'll get it out. Again, like all Bluetti's products, very well packaged. All their products are always well packaged. So you've got this foam insert around the DC to DC charger. But this is the first DC to DC charger, designated charger that I've seen from any of these power station companies. This will run your solar panels and will also run your uh, vehicle input coming from your vehicle. I'll put the GoPro on and we'll take a closer look over this unit and go over all the features that it has and talk a bit more about it. Okay, so here is our Blue Eddy unit. So it's pretty lightweight. We'll go through some of the specs here in a second, but we'll just take a look at the outside of it. So it gives you great mountability. Just put four screws in to this side, to this side. You do have vents on either side for cooling. And yes, there's a fan in this side. I can just see it just in there, the blades. So that fan will be pushing, pushing the air, sucking the air through the unit to keep it cool. So on the front of the unit, you've got this rippled effect just here. A bunch of specs up here on the top. Um, Blue Eddy logo, uh, charge profile, lead acid, life PO4, AGM gel, calcium. So you can do all these different profiles. That is absolutely awesome. PV engine, charging, and an alarm just there. So DC input, which is obviously this connector here. Uh, PV engine input. So you'll connect your engine uh, will come from... Uh, from the red Anderson, they've hooked it up that way to a red Anderson, which is fine. Okay, so this is the scenario that we have uh, right now, the first one. So this is the DC input from the AC200L that I have here. Blue Eddy sent me this uh, late last year. So if you wanna check out this unit, quite a large, big unit. Uh, we did some testing on caravans. So if you just wanna use this unit separate from your caravan, uh, just to cool down the van over night time and then replenish this with the, with the solar during the day. That's something you could totally do. Air conditioners and things like that over Christmas last year. So uh, check out that on the channel. I'll put links in the description as well for the review I did on this. So it's AC200L. Essentially with this cable that comes with this uh, DC charger. So essentially we're going to plug this into just here, so that is the 48 volt, eight amp plug. And then we're gonna plug this into our Blue Eddy unit. So we're gonna plug that straight up into there. And then, maybe I have to hit DC on this one. This is my first time hooking this up. Yep, there we go. So now we have 
we have the lights have come up, lead acid. So I think we can hold the button down possibly. Lead acid, life PO4. So yeah, you just press this button here. I think you hold it down to get it to, to start cycling. And then you can just cycle through, through each unit. So right here, I have this all grand lead crystal battery that I actually come out of our caravan. So I'm gonna be hooking this up to the Bluetti charger. Hopefully this is pretty depleted. It's been sitting in the shed for a while. So we're gonna plug it in here directly to the charger and actually, yeah, see what happens. So I might just try and just lean this up here. We're gonna plug this in to our positive. We're gonna double check our wires, positive, negative, negative, positive. We're gonna connect that. And now we're gonna see if we start charging. So we're gonna scroll across to AGM gel. I'm pretty sure the profile it needs to be on for lead crystal is a AGM gel, uh, lead crystal batteries. So what I've read in information is that they use a, an AGM like absorbed glass mat. So we've got it on that profile. So essentially to change the profile, you essentially just like hold down the button, the on button, and then you can cycle through each profile as you want. It's a little bit delayed as to what one comes up as you press it. You just gotta wait a second for it to um, change. Life PO4. And then to select that one, you just hold it down again and it'll select that one there. So we've got AGM gel on this unit. Uh, PV engine light is up. Um, I'm assuming that that's because it's coming from this DEP, this uh, DC import just here. So we do have charging right now. Super impressed with how basic this is to actually charge and the fact that you can charge from the AC200L directly with using the, the Bluetti specialized cable here, obviously. Um, but now we're gonna go and we're gonna connect uh, PV input. So we're gonna essentially, we're gonna use the solar panels and then we're gonna connect it up to the Raptor. So now thinking of it, something that Bluetti should have included in this unit would have been Bluetooth. I've just looked for the manual. I can't seem to find that there's a Bluetooth function, but if this was Bluetooth to your phone and you could see everything happening, that would be absolutely awesome. But again, can't complain. They're finally getting on the bandwagon when it comes to Anderson plugs. So I'm super happy about that. But yeah, as you can see, our DC input is coming from the AC200L. Uh, we have our AGM profile set. Uh, PV engine is lit up. I'm not too sure why that's lit up. Maybe because it's accepting DC charge. That's why it's lit up because we don't have anything in the the PV as of yet. And our light is blinking saying that we are charging our battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my battery tester and I'm going to test to see what sort of voltage the battery is sitting at at the moment. So we are sitting at 12.8, 12.9. Volts on the AGM battery. So that's still saying that it's charging. Uh, this has now gone back to zero. So maybe the battery, again, I don't know the condition of this battery. So I was just inside of my uh, bag that I have all my connectors and I forgot that I had this little meter here. 32, 31, so it is going down. So I'm guessing that the battery is pretty much fully charged, but that kind of gives you a readout there. 14.61 volts going in, uh, 1.99 amps, but again, with a fully charged battery, it's hard to determine on uh, how much current is actually going in, unless I was to use a bunch of the capacity out of this battery. Okay, so these are Blue Eddy's 200 watt panels that I have just here. So they have this nice texture, very nice panels, this sort of honeycomb material here around the outside. So I've got these set up here finally. The rain has gone away. Okay, so I've just rigged up our little setup here and we have it going into our battery and our battery is sitting on 13.2 volts through our little meter just there. So essentially that is how you connect it. If you're gonna have vehicle uh, solar panels um, on your vehicle, you'll connect it just like that. But you could have it where you're bringing in solar input and your vehicle input coming into the same, the same PV uh, connector. So your vehicle and solar will come together into this one Anderson plug uh, into the unit. Okay, so I've laid this out as simulating how you'd have it set up in the back of your vehicle. 
So essentially you'd have your Anderson connector coming from your starter battery and your alternator. So providing the Bluetti uh, DC to DC with power to charge your house battery. So essentially uh, you would bring your PV and engine input into this into this uh, center plug just here. So it'd be your solar power coming in from your roof and also your vehicle engine input coming in to this center section. So we'll plug this in. This is coming from the Raptor. The Raptor is currently idling. So you can see we now have our lights up. We've got our uh, on button, our AGM gel profile here set uh, to the lead crystal battery. PV engine charging input and we have our charging light now on the Bluetti itself. So, and then this here is simulating, this is simulating if you had say a interface on the wall inside your four wheel drive or your RV or caravan, simulating what's actually coming into the, into the battery. So just reading through the manual here, we've got the DC input. Uh, so that's coming into our PV and engine input. So the PV starter battery input would be 12 volt to 36 volt with a 20 amp max. So looking at my calculator here that I have, uh, if we do our power, which is 400 watts is what they're saying here in the specifications on the unit. So charging power, 400 watts. So if we do that to 12 volt, the current in amps is 33.3 is amps uh, that is actually be coming out of this unit. So what are my final thoughts here on this little Blue Eddy unit? Well, I just, I think it's absolutely awesome that finally these power station companies are actually listening to majority of what we're saying when we comes to charging our portable power stations, but also charging, ways of charging our in-house batteries that we already have fitted inside of our four-wheel drives, RVs, camper trailers. It's finally good that they're finally listening and they're actually adopting the good old Anderson plugs. So what I would like to see, but is this to be able to charge the AC200L just there. That's what I would like to see, that this unit here could actually charge the AC200L instead of the AC200L simply charging another battery that you have. So a unit like this, that could charge uh, pretty much your house batteries in whatever sort of vehicle you have but then also this unit could be used for taking your vehicle's input and then charging the Bluetti. So I'm gonna flip this whole concept on its head and I don't think Bluetti's, I don't think Bluetti's actually thought of this, but I could be wrong. So if you can see what I'm about to do here, so this is the DC input for the AC200L. So I'm gonna connect that onto here and what you can do with these is then you can plug it into solar. So you can plug these two connectors into the Bluetti solar panels, which I have just down there. But what we could do is connect an Anderson to these, if you can see what I'm thinking. So this will then charge this while you're on the road. So I don't think Bluetti's thought of that, but again, I could be wrong. I'm just putting it out there that there's no connectors to go from this to this. So I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna see if this unit here from the vehicle charging, what sort of rates we're charging the AC200L at. So stay with me. I'm gonna go and make some modifications to these cables and we're gonna see if the yeah, D40 DC DC charger will charge the AC200L. Probably not how Blue Eddy intended, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Okay, so if you can now see how I've got this set up. So we have our Blue Eddy. We have our AC200L now acting as our house battery. Now I don't think if Blue Eddy thought of this, but the way I've done this is I've used their PV connectors and then I have a PV to Anderson connector, which is going here to the DC output here on the Anderson. So essentially this is now supplying DC power from the vehicle charging, from vehicle PV input. So you could run solar and vehicle input through this to charge your Bluetti devices that do have this style socket or any other devices because now they're utilizing the Anderson plug. So we're gonna plug this in and now we're gonna go and we're gonna put the car on. Anderson plug, and we're gonna see if our AC200L starts charging. So far, no it's not. So. 
yeah unfortunately it will not charge the ac200l i thought i'd voodooed it to make it work but no i can't get it to work okay so i'd filmed three videos that day i was pretty tired by the end of the day and I worked out why it, did, it didn't click to me in the instant. You are probably throwing things at your TV and realizing why it's not working, but it's because it's, I'm assuming it's double regulated because it's PV and vehicle input coming into it. It's, I'm assuming, regulating it, putting it back out to the, the AC200L that I was trying to charge. And basically it won't charge it because, yeah, it's regulated twice. It's like putting two regulators together off solar panels. They won't work, so... I'm assuming that's why it won't work, but I tried anyway, um, no luck. So, but Bluetti, if you're watching this, please make us a DC to DC charger that will charge our Bluetti products. All right, uh, it's getting pretty late here now, so I'm gonna start packing everything up, but this is a great little unit if you're looking to charge things in your vehicle or your caravan or your RV, uh, camper trailer, things like that. So. Um, stoked the blue eddy's finally on the bandwagon we do have anderson connectors now where you can connect your solar and your vehicle input into the same unit and that way we can charge third party batteries but yeah links in the description if you want to grab one of these and i'll catch you guys in the next video see you later hey, don't go anywhere yet so i've contacted blue eddy and i said how about we do a giveaway so they're putting up for grabs at ac 2a power station they did over 400 dollars what I need you to do is go into the comments and what is a product that you would like to see Blue Eddy make? What is something that's not on the market yet? Or there might be a different style of power touch station that you're thinking that might be a good idea? Go up below, tell us your idea, the best, best comment. I'm going to pick the winner and Blue Eddy is going to send out the AC2A to you. They get it over 400 bucks. So pretty cool. Comment below, like the video, share it with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.